You say the word. Piper. Something you need? Keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know. If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. Um, they didn't say much, but... But I remember they... they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So, you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. <laughs> Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks, and arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. 
The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The man who killed my husband, he had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough, like, like sandpaper, across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The woman was dressed in, uh, I think it was kind of a hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, but they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is Kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. It's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Won't be able to pick this. 
Hey, Valentine. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. Stubborn lock, ain't it? We can't get through that door. I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Nick. The mayor's office is near the entrance of the city. The platform that should take you up. Hey. Something to say? Your thoughts? Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. That was all I had. All right. Outside the wall, undefended. You there? High quality protection. You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Not looking to buy right now. Stop crowding my stall, then. I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's Simply a freaking shopping saint. right here. The latest hairstyle. receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man, Kellogg, kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing. But I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Hey. What can I do? Cap for your thoughts? Your thoughts? Doing the right thing rarely makes you popular. But I don't think I... 
That's all for now. Sure. I know you're new to our fair city, but the press is not allowed in this office. Tell Piper to wait outside. Mayor McDonough. I will not speak to members of the press. Piper can wait outside. Heads up. Shoot. Head over there. Of course. McDonough. I will not speak to members of the press. Piper can wait outside. Back about this key business, I assume. I'm sorry, but I cannot condone unlawful searches of people's property. I understand. You, you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit? What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. Fine. I know it. Mm -hmm. Did you need something else? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on, can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my baby. The man who owned that house... ...kidnapped him. You do seem like a sweetheart. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and... ...forget I put it there. Your baby's lucky he has a mother like you. I hope you find him. Hey, Valentine. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you. A guy like Kellogg would think big. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things.
Nick. Why don't you search that table? Then we'll compare notes. Gwyneth's stout beer. 44 caliber bullets. Cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Mm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. We'll never find him. Damn it, drop the doom and gloom act. We can work through this. What about dog meat? A commonwealth mutt like him can track a scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. If you need me, just come knocking. If not, then the next time I see you, I hope it's with your son, safe and sound. <laughs>